Now, the next two tools will basically replace ChatGPT paid plan. Of course, if you are ChatGPT paid plan user already, I think there's still a lot of value in these tools because I use them all together. But if you do not pay for GPT plus, you definitely need to know about these two tools. They're going to really elevate your AI game. So first we have this tool called Microsoft Copilot. It's just like ChatGPT, except you have certain different categories of tools here, which you can use for custom things. For example, coding, travel, creating, comparing, and all that stuff. But what I like using Copilot for is their feature where you can upload images so i can basically make ai I'm a design assistant let's say i'm a business owner i'm on marketing i work on social media campaigns i'm drawing posts for social media linkedin twitter i have images i'm doing stuff on canva but i do not know if my content if my design is good or not because i'm not a designer so what you can do with this tool is you can upload your graphics you can upload your landing page for example i'm just going to use your landing page of map this i'm just going to say roast the design of this landing page and it's going to give you feedback you may or may not agree with all this feedback that at least if you're talking to somebody and you're getting new ideas, you're getting new perspective and new way of thinking, you can leverage that along with your own insights to figure out where and when you can change your design to make sure whenever you go live with your design assets, you submit it to your team, your clients, your own business, at least you're a bit more polished and you can really stand behind the work you did. Like as a marketing designer, I really like using this tool. It's completely free. I did not even sign up a website called copala.microsoft.com. And the next one is a really powerful AI tool, which is making quite some waves. I'm pretty sure it's going to be really popular if not already by end of this year it's called perplexity just imagine like chat gpt and google having a baby it works just like chat gpt where you can ask it any questions but unlike chat gpt where chat gpt is making the answers using ai what this tool does is that it's going to generate the answers using the materials available on the google so it's going to reference the stuff that's already written on google and leverage that content in its answers versus just making things up from its own imagination and then unlike chat gpt where where you don't have access to the internet and you're on the paid plan, this tool actually talks to the internet so you can get results in real time. For example, I'm just gonna ask it to give me the key takeaways from Meta's Q4 2023 earnings. And now I'm getting the results, which were just released a few days ago. And it is referencing to all the sources where it is pulling data from. And that is not the only feature while of this tool. The other feature, which is super useful, is that you can upload PDFs. You can add a PDF up to three per day on a free plan, and you can ask this tool to summarize the PDF, to get you insights from the PDF, or just ask any questions from the PDF. There are a lot of tools out there that do that. Chat GPT Plus do that. This is the tool that can do it for free. And just like any other tool, there's a free plan, there's a paid plan. If you're a power user, you can jump onto the paid plan. The free plan is super generous too. I have not had the need to upgrade to the paid plan for this tool just yet. It's called Perplexity AI. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you think I missed a tool, which everyone should really know. See you next time.